welcome back. Um, I think today in this episode, I want to cover real quick um, how to enter and exit a traffic pattern. Um, so I can hardly see it, but I'm, I'm down here on 3-2. And we're, if we're doing left traffic, we know we take off. We covered this before. This is your upwind, and then you do your crosswind, a downwind, your base leg, and your final. Um, but if you're outside the traffic pattern already and you're going to enter, um, you really want to enter. There's two ways. You can either come straight in from a few miles out and do a straight in approach to your landing runway. Um, but the other is you want to join into the pattern. Uh, and typically we do that with a 45. We call it a 45 to downwind. Um, so what we'll do is we'll move over here and we're going to, I'll actually come down a little bit. And we're way away from the airport, right? And we'll do this on the real plane in a minute. We're way away from the airport. And so what you want to do is you, we know we can now see that there might be airplanes flying the pattern um, out here. And again, this will apply whether you're doing left traffic or right traffic. You just do the 45 on the other end over here. Over here. Um, but it's a 45 entry to the downwind. So what we're going to do is um, we'll make radio calls that, uh, you know, Mansell Traffic, uh, Cessna 7 Zulu Victors on 45 for downwind, 3-2 Mansfield. Um, and I'll cover some more radio comms in another video, but that's something we would say on the frequency to let other planes in the pattern know that we're coming in. And so what we do is approach the airport, not quite at the crosswind, but we'd get this 45 degree angle going so that we'd fly in uh, a little before or at midfield, right? And we'd be at pattern altitude, and then we'd bank and, and join the downwind this way so that now we have the airport on our left. So now we've entered the downwind. So we'd come in at a 45-degree angle to do that. Um, and then if you're going to exit the pattern uh, from your takeoff, if you're going to go uh, pretty much anywhere north or in your direction of current direction of travel say out that way or out that way you just do a straight out departure until you're probably i don't know two three miles out and, and climbing above pattern altitude and we know it's about 100 and i think it's oh, shoot 120 feet i believe ish here at mansfield um and so that means we're we're running an 1100 foot pattern altitude so it's 1000 feet above the ground um, <clears throat> once you're about uh, 1,500 feet above the ground, you're not really in the traffic pattern anymore, and then you can make turns. So either a few miles out or once you reach 1,500 or greater, you can then turn off whatever direction. And if you're going to overfly the airport, you want to be at least 1,500 feet above it for an uncontrolled field. Obviously, if you're going through an air, air, you know, a tower-controlled airport, you're going to follow ATC instructions. Uh, but front controlled at least 1500 feet above the airport so that you're not interfering with the traffic pattern um so yeah if you're going anywhere northbound or rather direction of travel could be whatever heading the runway is out in that direction that direction or straight out you just do a straight out departure um if you're going to go west like direct west you could do that two ways um you could do straight out for a few miles and then turn and go west. Or you could go up and at your eight 900 feet, turn the crosswind and then just go directly out. Um, if you're going to go off to the right, um, you really do want to do the straight out for about a mile or so or 1,500 feet above ground and then make your right turn. But if your direction of travel is going to be opposite of your takeoff direction because of wind and everything, what you're going to want to do is do your takeoff, do your crosswind, and then just get into the downwind and then basically fly straight out on the downwind. Um, and you make a radio call, something about, you know, uh, you know departing, in this case, departing 3-2. And then you come out and you say, okay, you know, Mansfield traffic, that's not how Zulu Victor's uh, left downwind for straight out departure, or left downwind 3-2 for, for uh, departing the pattern. So they know you're on the downwind and you're going to be departing the pattern. You're not going to go to base. Um, Pretty simple. But let's give it a try. Let's uh, wrong button. Let's 
go camera inside the cockpit. And let's do um, we'll depart to the south. So let me turn off my parking brake. And we have right now um, we're on runway 32, so we can see our compass is at 32. We know our left crosswind is going to be about 23 right here. So when we get up, uh, you know, 800 feet or so, 900 feet, we'll make a left turn until the 23 is at the top. Um, and then we'll go ahead and we look at the reciprocal. We have about 1-4, which of course is the other runway heading. So when we make our downwind, we're going to be on a heading of 1-4. So it's two stages. The crosswind, like I said before, is 2-3 and 1-4 will be our downwind heading. So let's go ahead and take off. Oop, my rudder paddles. <laughs> they just slid across the floor. Bear with me for a second. Oh, we'll leave the gas in this time. This is good. <laughs> oh, head jacking, yay. Sorry about that. All right. Can break off. Let's uh, turn around here. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. <laughs> Sorry for that little excursion. Um, pro tip when you're going to fly with flight controls, make sure your rudder pedals don't slide across the floor and are actually plugged in forgot to plug them in so they were useless anyway anyway all right back onto it so let's take off and we're going to exit to the south like i said uh crosswind's going to be a heading of two three and downwind's going to be a heading of one four so let's do it that's all traffic says the seven zulu victor departing three two mansfield looking for airspeed Airspeed's alive, looking for 50. There's 50, rotate, yep. Let's go for Trees. Go ahead, we're a nice seventy climb out. I've lost my heading, three four. I'm not tracking it very well. Crosswind, so let's go to two three. Heading of two three zero. Pretty standard rate. Yep, there's our runway. Eleven hundred feet pattern. Flaps in there, that was why. Thought I took them out. Do our downwind. We're starting to get above the pattern altitude, which is fine. Mansfield traffic, Cessna 7 Dula Victor, left downwind, 3 2, departing the pattern. Mansfield. Four on our heading down there, and there's our airport, and we can just keep on climbing. It's not too 
at a rate of climb. Well, again, messy, but the general <laughs> just was there. All right, so let's try it one more time. I'll go back to the uh, departure point. And we'll uh, see you there at the end of the runway. Okay, back at the end of the runway, and we're gonna do this uh, again. Um, and this time, let's see. Instead of departing straight out to the south, let's go ahead and do. Um, let's do an east departure because uh, we're on three two, so we're gonna make a right hand turn out of here. So let's go ahead and do that. This one's gonna be mostly straight out, so we're going to stay on 3-2 as best we can. There's 50. Start climbing out about 65 to 70. Much better. Try to maintain 3-2-0 on our heading. Staying on the runway heading. So here's another thing we can talk about is sight picture. We're doing about 70, and we can see that the horizon is right about in line with the dash here. So if we just hold that picture, and we're not even look at the airspeed, just hold the horizon right about there. We should be at about 70. So that's another thing we'll get into in another video is more about sight pictures. All right, so we've hit up about 1,000 feet, and we, we can't really see behind us too very well. Yep, there's the runway. And may still traffic, Cessna 7 Zulu Victor departing to the east. make our east easterly turn. And we're getting above the pattern altitude now anyway. I'm going to bring the horizon to my dash. That should give us about 70. That was that departure. Now, let's turn around and do an entry. So what we're going to do is find the airport. She's right there. We're above pattern altitude right now. We're about 2,000 feet. So we're going to go out and extend this way a bit, out there, so we can get the airport behind us. And we're going to go in for a left downwind for 3-2. Shoot a landing. we can here. Get some power back. I think what I'm going to do is so I can get a good 45 is I'll begin descent and then I'll probably make a right hand turn to get that 45 angle on the runway. So let me start coming closer to it now. And let's keep an eye out for anyone else trying to come in on a 45 as well. There's runway 
behind me. Okay, we'll start descending a little bit to get down to pattern altitude, which is 1,100 feet. So here would be makes basically make the announcement because we can see our runway and airport right over there. So we're gonna start this 45. We'll start aiming toward it. And we Mansfield traffic, Cessna 7 Zula Victors on 45 for left downwind 32 Mansfield. Make sure we stop our descent at 1100 because that's pattern altitude. So now we've done the 45, now we just have to the standard normal downwind. Oh, there's a runway roughly halfway up the strut, so that's not too bad. And I'm not sure what kind of visual indicator we'd use on a low wing, like a Warrior or a Cherokee. Um, but in the Cessna 152s, 172s, about halfway up the struts, uh, pretty good. And we're coming to be about a, a beam the numbers here. So there we are, our beat. And reduce throttle to about. 1700. We're going to speed down to about 80. Notch of flaps. We're in the, within the white arc there on the airspeed indicator. That's your usable flaps. Speeds. You don't want to extend flaps outside that range. We have 3-2 on our left over here, right on that notch. The runway should be right over there. Yep, it is. One more notch of flaps. Let's pitch for 70. And start our final be a little low again. Oh yeah, super messy. Definitely started final too early. So take this as an example of what not to do. Seventy with my pitch, 
but I'm using my throttle to extend how far we fly. Alright, we're looking good. See the two red pappies on the left? We're too low. We'll wait for them to come in green. I'm sorry, white over red. That'll be... Alright, there we go. Red over white. Last notch of flaps. Pitch for 65 to 60. Got the power. Eyes to the end of the runway. Level out a little bit and let her settle. Alright, so anyway. Wasn't super pretty, but that's the gist of entering and ex exiting a traffic pattern. Um, you can exit straight out. Um, until you get about 1,500 feet above ground level, then change your direction. Or if you get, you know, two, three miles uh, away from the airport, you then change your heading. Um, if you're going to depart opposite of the direction of takeoff, um, somewhere in, you know, the, behind you, be it east, west, north, south, whatever. If it's if it's behind you from the sides, then you're going to want to uh, do your crosswind, get into your downwind, and depart straight out of the downwind. Um, those are the two really best ways. And then, of course, entering the pattern... Um, you either straight in uh, to your landing runway from several miles out or you do that 45 entry to downwind um, and I'm going to keep practicing that uh, I'm really sorry that was sloppy but we'll, uh, we'll keep it going anyway, hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll see you in the next one